right, guys, here is the explanation for the whoopsie twirl. Uh, this move is based on an old pen spin or wand spinning move. Uh, and a lot of people uh, probably do this already with your iPhone. Uh, if you're just messing around with your iPhone, um, a lot of people actually do this already. Uh, it's actually a lot harder to do with one card because there's no, uh, or at least there's barely any weight attached to the card. So it's a little bit harder to get it down. It's a little bit knacky. But once you get it, it is very fun to do. You're going to start off by holding the card uh, in the same position to do this flick move uh, as taught by Dan and Dave. I'm not really sure exactly what's that, what that is called, um, but basically all you're doing is placing your thumb outstretched. You're going to place the card directly on top of your thumb with your index finger uh, across the back, just like so. You're basically going to push uh, your index finger forward and thus push the card along with it. And you're going to be basically rotating it around the axis of your thumb. Okay, so your thumb is basically the pivot point here, and you're just going to be rotating it around your thumb like so. So I'll show you what this looks like with an iPhone, just because this has a little bit more weight to it. Okay, it's basically the exact same thing, same position, but it's a little bit easier to do because of the weight of your iPhone. Okay, you can do this with any any reasonably thin phone as well, I'm sure. Except for, uh, you know, that, that note phone that's like seven inches, probably can't do it with that. So you're basically just going to be pulling the phone almost around your thumb, okay? Trying to just rotate the phone on the axis of your thumb, okay? And once you do this, uh, it'll hit the other side of your hand, or the palm of your hand, rather. When it rotates all the way around, it'll get to here. By the time you hit here, the phone should be turned over completely, or the object in your hand, okay? So that by the time it actually hits your palm, your hand is going to be turned over 100%. So basically, in the action of turning it, your hand is slowly turning down, okay? So once again, as it rotates around your thumb, your hand is turning down. So now when your hand is completely down, the card should be uh, almost entirely pointing towards you. At least your thumb is on the outermost end and the rest of the card or the phone is pointing towards yourself, okay? From here, you're gonna basically do the exact opposite. The axis or the pivot point is now your index finger and your thumb is pulling or moving it around uh, just like this, okay? Again, while you're playing with your iPhone, waiting for the bus or whatever, you've probably already done this, uh, just twirling your phone around. So it's the same thing, it's just letting your index finger become the pivot point and rotating the object around it, okay? Until it gets back to its original uh, starting position. Now, again, this doesn't look like exactly the original starting position, it's just the exact upside down version, okay? So if you flip this, phone over and for end you're in the position you started in however uh, you're not going to just flip the phone straight up you're going to rotate it around so that it gives it one fluid motion okay so in one action it should look like that okay All right. Now it's easy to do this to kind of swing it uh, with your iPhone because it's so heavy. With a card you will not be able to swing it at all because there's no weight to swing around at all. Okay, I just want to show you this just so you can kind of get the basic uh, mechanics down. It's easier to do it with a heavier object. So now let's switch over to a card. We're doing almost the exact same thing. It'll take you a little bit to get into it, and it definitely is very knacky. But once you get into it and you can actually do it fluidly, it's pretty actually easy to do, and it looks very nice. Okay, again, this is just an old pen spinning move. You can also do this with a pen, a uh, relatively heavy pen or a wand, doing pretty much this exact same thing, uh, and it looks just like that. And when I'm doing it on top of the deck, I'm simply pushing one card over, flipping this end for end, starting the move, and as I get to here, and I turn it around, I'm simply flipping it like a book on top of the deck. So once again.
just like so. It takes a little bit of practice. If you want uh, to get kind of a buffer between the iPhone or the heavy weight of the iPhone and the extreme lightness of a card, uh, one thing that I found helped me in the beginning was to simply tape a dime to the end of the card. It doesn't really add a ton of weight, but it adds just enough to kind of swing some kind of weight around so you can get the mechanics down a little bit easier uh, with the card itself. Uh, so it's just a little bit heavier and then you can remove the dime when you feel comfortable and hopefully within a little bit of time, you will be able to do the move uh, very well. So now I'm going to teach you a couple more flourishes using the whoopsie twirl. First move with the whoopsie twirl looks something like this, okay? This is very simple. All you're going to be doing is pushing the top card off the deck, and as you do so, you're just going to come around the front edge of the deck and underneath on top of your fingers, okay? Very simple, no real move here, just gliding the card down and around. Once you're here, your uh, right thumb is going to pinch the deck just like so and it's going to pull off just one card off the top of the deck. You're going to pull it forward just a bit and it's going to rotate around your middle finger of the left hand, okay? So it hits the middle finger as a pivot point and you're just going to be pulling and rotating this card around. And you'll notice at this point, uh, the two cards have actually met. As the card rotates, your hand will be pulling this bottom card around, okay? And they will connect at this point. And you continue to rotate the card around fully 360 degrees until it's back to its original position. And from here, you're simply going to grip it between the index finger and the thumb of the left hand and pull it off to the right, okay? Pulling, or off to the left rather, okay? Pulling it usually under the deck, but before you pull it completely under the deck, you're actually going to be pulling it all the way to the side so that the uh, right hand can match this action and get this cool little display. It's kind of neat. So once again, you're simply pushing this card off and over the front end of the deck. You're pulling one card forward. It's rotating around the middle finger. Okay, it gets gripped between the index finger and the thumb of the left hand. And as you pull the card off, you're automatically pulling it to the left. And as you pull it to the left, the right hand is holding this card in the perfect position to twirl the card around to the starting position of the whoopsie twirl. And you get this nice little display. Now from here, you simply close the packet or the rest of the deck to the one card in the left hand and you simply rotate the card down and around on top of the deck okay so once again looks like that now I'm going to do this in slow motion a couple times for you guys so hopefully you can get the idea
The second flourish with the whoopsie twirl looks something like this, and it is completely false. You're simply removing the top and the bottom cards, and in a flourishing way, you put them back to their original positions. So here's what that move looks like. You're simply going to be getting your left uh, pinky and ring fingers out of the way so they sneak out of the way uh, and you're gripping the deck in kind of a modified mechanics grip by simply holding it between the thumb, the middle finger, and the index finger. The reason these uh, fingers are getting out of the way is so you can grip the bottom card and the top card of the deck and you can rotate them out and around the middle finger without any ear interference. Okay, so if those cards were there, or, or those fingers were there rather, it'd be very hard to get those cards out of there. So you're going to move those out of the way as you pinch the bottom and top cards and move them around the pivot point of your middle finger. Okay. Once you're here, your hand is going to be gripped in kind of this fashion. Okay, kind of, kind of a, a punching or a <laughs> punching a fist. Yeah, that, that's what I meant. I'm very tired, people. Uh, you're simply going to extend in this position your first finger, just like so. Since it starts up curled up in the fist position, when you extend your finger, it goes out about halfway. Okay. Once you're here, your middle finger is going to continue pushing that card all the way out. Okay. So once again, from here it goes out about halfway and the middle finger comes to the edge of this card and just kind of kicks it all the way so that it's rotating out 180 degrees. Okay. Just like that. Now as you do this, your hand is going to be turning over like this as you're doing that rotation. Okay. So it should look something like that. So the card is rotating out as your hand or your wrist is turning over, okay? It turns over and the left thumb uh, grips this card face up onto the deck. And two things are gonna happen at once. The left hand is going to, or, or the left hand's thumb is going to pull this card over and around the left side of the deck. So once again, you're simply pulling it off the deck and onto the bottom. The right hand is simply going to be performing the whoopsie twirl by turning the hand over and flipping it onto the deck. So once again, you're simply pulling these two cards out and doing both those actions at once. So I'm gonna do it a couple times in slow motion 